I'm Selena. And I'm Leon. And today we're going to show you two ways to make a truly timeless and iconic beverage known as the Grey Goose Martini Cocktail. So Leon, there are so many words you can use to order a martini cocktail. Lots to unpack with the martini. Lots to unpack. So today, we're gonna show kind of like the two most popular genres of martini cocktails, yes. hoping that it clears some of the confusion up for people when they wanna make one at home or order one in a restaurant. I'm gonna go over how to make a dry martini cocktail. Start with the ingredients that we're gonna use. I'm gonna throw in two dashes of orange bitters. We're gonna go a half part of Noli Dry Vermouth. And we're gonna go two parts of Grey Goose Original Vodka. So the first thing is you want all your ingredients to be cold, hence why I have just put this fresh ice in my mixing glass. I'm gonna start, again, two dashes of bitters. And so with the vermouth, it's dry vermouth, but technically a dry martini cocktail would have less, less. vermouth. Yes, yeah, that is, I know it's a bit confusing because it's actually the opposite. And then we're gonna finish up again with two parts. Grey Goose Original. Grey Goose Original. So now that we have all of our ingredients in our mixing glass, next you wanna take your bar spoon and again, I know if you're new to making cocktails at home, this can be very intimidating to see all these bar tools that you may not have access to or never used. We'll walk you through how to use them very quickly. You're gonna take your bar spoon, the back and you're gonna slide it so the back is facing the inside of your shaker. You're simply gonna push up and then pull back. It's that simple. I love that description. You can have your hand here just to give you a little bit of leverage and you're just gonna go. A little anchor action. Back and forth. And so if someone doesn't have any of this at home, they could maybe just use like a regular spoon in like a pint glass? In a pint, 100%. I've actually stirred cocktails in rocks glasses before. I mean, whatever you have, that's what you need to... Like. Or also drink it on the rocks. And why I love my martini stirred is because it comes out crystal clear like so. I'm gonna garnish a lemon here. If you see, once you express those oils in, you'll see. Yeah, you can see them on the top of the drink. And then even on the nose. Oh, it smells good. You'll get some I of those aromatics. I can smell it from here. Um, and again, when stirring, you get a nice silky mouthfeel. And that's what I enjoy with my Grey Goose Martini Cocktail. Okay, so that's the dry martini cocktail. Dry. But I'm team dirty martini cocktail. So traditionally, a dirty martini cocktail is going to have Grey Goose, and it's going to have olive brine but I like to take mine up a notch. So today, my martini cocktail is gonna have some Mediterranean olives muddled in it. And so I pitted these earlier. I'm gonna put about two, two olives worth in there. And then I'm going to use two thirds part of olive brine because I really like the salinity that the olive brine offers to my martini cocktail. And there's sort of a, a little bit of a debate over shaken versus stirred for dirty martini cocktails, but I love it shaken because I really like the ice chips and I sort of like to agitate all the ingredients with a good shake. I'm adding two parts of Grey Goose Original Vodka. And a build on the olive brine. If you're ever ordering a dirty martini out, I would just ask your bartender just for a little sample. Yeah. If they're making it in-house, it could be a little bit more uh, salty than you prefer and you just want to have them dial it back. Yeah, so you know how much you want in your drink. So all my ingredients are in. I'm going to use shaker tins today. Quick shake. Nice. Yeah, and you don't have to shake it too much. You just sort of want to get all the ingredients together. And for this one, because I muddled those pieces in the bottom, I'm gonna use two strainers because I don't want the little bits of olives in my drink, but if you love that, you don't have to use a strainer at all. Oh, yeah, you can hear the ice chips, can you hear them? The ice chips hitting the... Ice the... chips and little olive particles there. And now my favorite part of a dirty martini cocktail is that you get sort of a snack as a garnish. And do you know the reason why we garnish with three? I don't. With odd numbers? No. Supposedly, if you garnish with even numbers, it's considered bad luck. Oh, oh my gosh. Well, don't take that personally if you ever get two olives from me, Leon. Ha ha ha. Cheers. Sante. And if you guys are maybe team dry or team dirty, we want to know in the comments because I want to beat Leon and I want more people on Team Dirty Martini Cocktail. Team Dry. And please click below to watch more recipes like this.